Hi, I'm Amy Corbett, and I will be reading in honor of Bayon Book Week, a passage from The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy by Douglas Adams. The bagel fish, said The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy quietly, is small, yellow, and leech-like, and probably the oddest thing in the universe. It feeds on brainwaves, energy received not from its own carrier, but from those around it. It absorbs all unconscious mental frequencies from its brainwave, energy to nourish itself with. It then excretes into the mind of its carrier a telepathic matrix formed by combining the conscious thought frequencies with nerve signals picked up from the speech centers of the brain which has supplied them. The practical upshot of all this is that if you stick a babel fish in your ear, you can instantly understand anything said to you in any form of language. The speech patterns you actually hear decode the brainwave matrix, which has been fed into your mind by your babel fish. Now, it is such a bizarrely improbable coincidence that anything so mind-bogglingly useful could have evolved purely by chance that some thinkers have chosen to see it as a final and clinching proof of the non-existence of God. The argument goes something like this. I refuse to prove that I exist, says God, for proof denies faith, and without faith I am nothing. But, says man, the babel fish is a dead giveaway, isn't it? I could not have evolved by chance. It proves you exist, and so therefore, by your own argument, you don't. Q.E.D. Oh dear, says God, I haven't thought of that, and promptly vanishes in a puff of logic. Oh, that was easy, says man, and for an encore, goes on to prove that black is white, and gets himself killed at the next, next pedestrian crossing. Most leading theologians claim that this argument is a load of dingo kidneys, but that didn't stop Ulan Kulumps making a small fortune when he used it as the central theme of his best-selling book, well, that about wraps it up for God.